I see a lot of people confusing two groups, right? There's two groups of people right now. We've got looters and protesters. Say it with me. Looters, protesters. These are not the same two groups of people. Are they existing right now on the same exact battleground, if you will, if we're being realistic? Yes, they are. Okay, but do you know where else looters show up? They show up to county fairs. They show up to baseball games. They show up to church craft fairs. Anywhere where somebody or something or a lot of somebodies are gathered at one time, and the career criminals, the opportunistic thieves, not the protesters, where the opportunistic thieves take the opportunity, thus the word opportunistic, to go ahead and commit crimes and create victims since everybody's eyes are over here right now. They're not the same people. And I think it's very important for all of us, especially within the cannabis community because we've been there for so long. It is so important for all of us to separate the two. Hear me out. I see a lot of people shaming the protesters for looting. We can't shame the protesters for looting. The protesters are protesting. The thieves are looting. Protesters protesting, thieves looting. Just like in the cannabis community, right? They called us criminals just because we smoked weed. No, there was a clear difference. There is a criminal who kills and steals and create victims. And then there are people who smoke weed. And for generations, the cannabis community has been balked into this box of being criminals. So, to any of you out there who are comparing the protesters and the looters, shame on you. But it's okay. I've done shameful things in my life too. And the only reason I've stopped doing shameful things or when I stop doing whichever that shameful thing is, is because the input of my community and I, as your community, am telling you, it's okay, but stop it right now. Stop, stop, stop blaming the protesters for the crimes, for the actual crimes that are being committed. Protesting is not a crime. Breaking windows and stealing things out of public facilities is a crime. Are the two going on at the same time? Yes, but the two go on at the same time during baseball. Jesus Christ, how big are the riots? How big are the riots after some football team loses and every Billy badass in town gets pissed off and starts flipping cars? Do we, uh, do we blame all sports fanatics. I still don't understand sports, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm lost on this. But do we blame all sports fanatics for the bad actions of those opportunistic career criminals or otherwise destructive individuals who make bad decisions? We need to keep it separate. We have been begging for the entire world to keep us cannabis users separate from criminals for generations. And it is very important that we give people that respect right now. We need to be there for them because we've been through it. And we're finally coming through this fog of prohibition, even though there's still one cannabis arrest every 50 seconds in this country, which is ridiculous. But as we're coming out of it and we're feeling more and more empowered because people don't see me do this and go, holy shit, she's a criminal anymore. We need to take how empowered we are right now and use it as a force of good to remind everybody. Anytime you see it on your face or on your timeline, anytime you see somebody balk the protesters in with the criminals, you need to politely, compassionately pass the compassion and set them straight. I'm G.I. Mary Jane, and I approve this message.